Hey guys, how's it going? So Voyager Digital just updated their business um, and they're experiencing massive growth. What I'm really, really interested in right now is Voyager releasing an earnings report. I want to see how massive the company is growing from a uh, earnings perspective. But uh, right now they are they have about three point three billion dollars of asset under management and what is the uh, what is Voyager's market cap 4.10 billion dollars on the Canadian side and on the US it's 3 billion US dollars and they are experiencing massive growth they got uh, this just this month alone they got a, a over 130,000 new funded accounts added to the platform um, that's really good for one month of growth. Uh, there's a lot. There's a lot of. And then next month could be another hundred thirty. Next month could be another hundred and thirty. All, or even bigger. Who really knows? At the end of the day, this is a growth company. They're gonna keep growing accounts. They they're gonna keep reporting good numbers, and I feel like the stock could hit a hundred dollars by the end of this year. Who knows at the end of the day, I don't move the markets, big money does and big money will move this stock if the company continues to perform in a very positive way. So we'll see what happens but very, I'm very very bullish on this company, I uh, uh, any major massive dips I'm going to use that as an opportunity to buy more shares but we'll see what happens. So. Yeah, you know, very good performance. Right now, Voyager is up four point five percent, four point eight one percent. Did I buy any today? Nope. I said I only buy on the red. Uh, so I'm hoping it has a massive dip, but I have a feeling that we could see this thing easily go back over thirty dollars in the short term here. Just my opinion. Only time will tell if I'm right. Uh, on the U.S. side, is up. 85 cents volume is kind of weak it is only trading 90 94,000 shares it's still a lot of money considering the fact that it's twenty three dollars and fifty five cents uh, that's on the US side VOY okay I can't find the Canadian side won't well, give me the Canadian side for some oh here, here's the Canadian side uh, oh, oh, yeah, who's being retarded right now? Uh, it's traded four hundred and ninety thousand. So it's the the real money is coming from the U.S. side, not the Canadian side. But that's all right, whatever. Um, trading four hundred and ninety thousand shares at the moment on the Canadian side. It's still a lot of money considering the fact that it's traded. 28,000 just like think about it right 490,000 shares times 20 let's call it 28 that's 13.7 million dollars got traded on just the Canadian side on the US is like double that because it's like almost a million shares traded so yeah uh, Uh, workhorse today down 62 cents not too much to say about that uh, Q U media are just kind of trading sideways the market wants some kind of positive news a positive catalyst before this thing gets pumped to the moon if this thing goes to 35 cents I say, I say that's a buying opportunity which is always possible I don't know what the market's gonna do at the end of the day I'm bullish on this company but you know people trade and you know if there's no news for a while the stock could go down to 35 cents but uh, you know but as time progresses I'm sure in the background the company is continuing to move it move itself forward and you know at 35 cents I, I would say this thing's undervalued at 30 cents this is really undervalued so we'll see what happens anything's possible in the markets I really believe in this company but you know and I'm holding it long term but see that that's the problem of long term sometimes long term can bite you in the butt because 
the opposite could happen and it can go down and you can lose money and that's you know you have to live with volatility as a long-term investor uh funware today is down to seven cents please funware keep going down I want to see this thing hit like a dollar thirty dollar twenty dollar ten maybe please do that for me so I can buy some more uh, AABB today I hope this thing hits ten cents <laughs> I would load the boat on it I would buy more for sure uh, Litecoin right now is down 28 oh sorry it's up 9.88 percent up $26.69 if you guys went out and you guys bought some Litecoin when I made that video about Elon Musk boom you would have been up 10 percent and it, it looks like it's going higher from a charting perspective Bitcoin right now is uh, kind of just trading sideways Ethereum is getting pumped to the moon right now whoa Ethereum go Ethereum go so I don't know why it's pumping it to the why people why why uh big money rich people whatever is pumping it to the moon I don't know why but it is be happy I guess if you're a Ethereum holder but it is getting overbought right now we'll see where it goes uh Dogecoin is at forty cents so uh, there's some must be some rich. Dogecoin's made so many millionaires right now. So many millionaires. Um, Neo, especially for the people who bought it below a penny. Neo, down 5.5 cents. Casper, Casper is down 2 cents. Coin is down 52 cents. GTEC is down 3 cents. The Planet 13 is down 14 cents. Tesla is down $25 through 3.55% today. Uh, Neo is down 0.38%. High Tide is not getting pumped. It's just kind of sitting there and chilling. Uh, just trading sideways. Anyways, uh, that's all I really have to say in my video. Damn, I got another 20 seconds to go. I don't really have too much to say. Uh, Casper is having the earnings, and uh, I'm hoping they, they, they show some kind of surprise profit and get pumped to the moon. Uh, oh, yeah, Skills. What is Skills doing right now? Skills. Skills down 99 cents, 5.65 percent right now. We'll see if that can continue to go down further. I hope so. But uh, who knows at the end of the day. Anyways, that is it for my video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for future updates and have a great day. Bye.